All right, what we're going to learn today is about the cycle of fifths and how to write major scales in all of the sharp keys, starting with C major, which of course has no sharps or flats. Okay, we always start with C major. Now I've made an activity template. So first of all, sign into your note flight, making sure you use the correct um, URL there not noteflight.com. Always sign into our school music compositions.sites.noteflight.com. Okay, and the link is there in Canvas. But once you've saved it as a bookmark, you should always be able to easily go there. Now, uh, we've got a new member of our Year 9 music class, Charlie Brand. You can see him up here. And uh, he hasn't done much work yet. But uh, if we click on Score Share with me, because I've enrolled him into the... Uh, the Year 9 Music class, and there is the activity template, the major scale, and the cycle of fifths. Okay, now the beauty of an activity template is you don't need to make a copy. Okay, this is yours. All right, so what we do here is let's look at the instructions. In this activity template, you'll learn how to write the C major, G major, D major, A major, E major, B major, and F sharp major scales with key signs. Now, or key signatures. That sounds really complicated. But you remember when we learned how to write the C major scale in note flight? If you press play on this scale below, let's have a listen to it. Okay, just on that scale, then click on edit to go back to the edit mode. All right, so um, we notice that it sounds very close between, or a semitone between three and four, and seven and eight and that's the pattern of a major scale okay now the instruction is highlight this just these two bars so we click here in a space not on a note not on a rest and the whole bar lights up now hold the shift key and click again now insert the key sign for C major all right so let's have a look at that if you should have the orange word measure so you don't Click on palettes and you put a little orange tick next to measure. Close palettes. And there we have, oh, C major. There's no sharps or flats. Okay, done. All right. So I'm going to do this whole activity template. And then you'll know what to do. Move the cursor using your right hand key to here. And here's a shortcut. We're going to, we can put the note in either of two ways. We can go there and go a next step up or we can with the cursor flashing in the right place press the letter D okay easy B, F, G, A, B, C. job done okay I've drawn up the bars for you and all that already ah but hang on there's more what else does ask to do highlight these two bars and set the key time to major done that right in the notes done that then the scale degree numbers the first note of the scale is already there. Yeah, okay, we know that. Put our cursor right in front of that first note again. Command L. Or you can click on, if you've got the orange thing for text, we're looking for lyrics, which is just Command L. Okay, if, if you're using a Windows PC, it's Control L. All right? And we press 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Oh, I guess what we print here, press here. Yes, 8. Because there are 8 notes in the scale. And that's going to, you're going to see why, when we're writing all the different key signs and scales, why we need to, um, to why we need to uh, to do this. All right. So now, um, what we're going to do here is, um, okay, highlight just these two bars. Insert the key sign for G major. Okay, it's dead easy in note flight. So hold, you know, just click on space, hold shift key, and we're going to click on our key signs next to measure, change key signature. And this time we click on G major. Okay, uh, look what happens. It's put an F sharp there. Move the cursor to the second note. It goes G, back to A, B, C, D, E. Now, interesting thing will happen here. It's automatically going to put in our F sharp. 
because it's here. That's what a key sign does. Ah, so we're learning something. NG. Okay, put the cursor here. Command L. One, spacebar two, spacebar three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, that's the pattern for all of it, but we're learning about the cycle of fifths. Now, oh, it looks like we've gone down four notes instead of up five, because if we put, I'll just show you what would happen if we, if we did this. If, if we did the D up there, we'd end up going right up here, and it would work, but we could hardly read those notes, because it would have so many ledger lines, because we'd have to go right up high. So instead of going up five, we go down four, which is um, still a D. Okay, so do the same thing. That's why I give them the first note each time. Okay, click in there, hold shift, click in the space there. While that's lit up, we're going to go D major now. Okay, and notice here it says mode major. Okay, okay, and that's given us two sharp signs. Move the cursor with your arrow key. What comes after D in the alphabet? D. F automatically makes it a sharp, isn't that cool? G, A, B, C sharp, D. Wow, okay, so, oh, hang on, we forgot to do this. Command L. One, two, whoops, I made a mistake there. Okay, one, two, I think I pressed a different thing instead of space bar. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Don't worry, they're different notes. Same numbers. There's a point to all of this, which we'll find out later. Highlight, now this uh, is um, here. I like just these two bars. It's talking about on the next page, writing the notes in the scale of numbers. Okay, we've done this before. Click in here. Just in a space, not on a note, not on a rest. Hold the shift key. We go up to here to our key signs. And what do we want? We want A major. Okay, what comes after A in the alphabet? Yes, B, C. I'm just pressing the letter keys on my keyboard. That's the quickest way to do this. E, F sharp, R, ah, okay. G sharp, A, it puts that in. That's what a key sign does automatically. Oh, the only thing is, it's put our key sign up here. All right. Uh, okay, it's put our key sign up there, whereas what we want is we want our key sign here. Let's see if I can do that. Alright, not sure why it's done that. Anyway, our key sign's up there instead of there. Okay, now we're going to do, oh sorry, we forgot to do this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, that's a little bit frustrating that our A major key sign is up here, but it still applies to these two bars. Okay, I'd much rather we put it there. Anyway, now E major, and we're going down four notes again, so it doesn't go right up high to the sky. Okay, and we want E major, four sharps. You notice that each time we go up five notes, or down four, same thing, the same note, up five notes though, we add a sharp. Every time we add a sharp, so G major has one sharp, D major has two sharps, A major has three sharps. Okay, uh, we're not going to go as far as C sharp major, that gets a bit crazy, okay? E. What comes next? F sharp, G sharp, A, B, C sharp, D sharp, E. Ah, and it's kept our E major key sign here. So isn't that great? All right. So put your cursor there. Command L. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. And still you hear each time that semitone is between three and four and seven and eight. That's where the notes are closest. And that's what the key signs do. It makes the pattern of the major scale the same everywhere. Last one. This one's a little bit, oh no, sorry, second last one. Click in there, click in there, go to measure, and we want key sign, B major, well, five sharps. Getting complicated now. No, it's not, it's easy. B, it's harder from playing on the cello, but uh, easy for us in note flight. B. C, D, E, F, G, goes back to A, after G, don't forget, B, okay, beautiful, now we've only got one to go, Command L, 1, 2, 3, 
four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, now highlight just these two bars. Insert the key sign for F sharp major. Okay, now let's see if it does this. Yes, now here's a little thing we need to fix. Because I gave you the first note, that's still an F natural. So what we need to do is hold the shift key and press the up arrow and it takes it up a semitone. I'm just going to do that again. So that's the wrong note. When we put the key sign in, you just see how it changed? So that's cancelling out the sharp. We don't want that. Hold the shift key, press the up arrow once, and we've got an F sharp. Okay. G, A, B, C, D sharp, E, E. Uh, now, interesting, it's actually E sharp. We'll see what that looks like on the keyboard later. F sharp. Okay, let's give it an extra bar. Don't worry about that, doesn't matter. Okay, and we're almost done. Command L. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And even if you had no musical knowledge previously, you now know how the major scales and the sharp keys work. Okay, so we'll look at that in class as well.